What is up, you guys? My name is Buzz Version 1, and welcome to A Vivid Life. This is a content warning for the game. The game contains depicted, uh, depictions of self mutilization, uh, some cons, con, conversations mentioned, abuse, and PTSD slash nudity. Of course, if there's any nudity to it, it will be censored, and if you guys want to see the, the uncut, uncensored version, you guys have to check out the Patreon. So, I can't go back to the life of a normal life until I go through this. Please, come home. Did you start the tape recorder? This is gonna get weird. No matter what you hear, please, stay put. If anything were to happen to me, this transmission will serve as a testimony. The skeleton inside of me isn't mine. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in the process of investigating what's going on. Yes, I tried dis discarding the idea at first. However, once you, you're convinced in something like this, it's an absolute horror. Absolute, it, this, an absolute horror gets hold of you. Picture being inhabited by a stranger. You can't just go about attending school after the realization. The best course of action is to steal an <laughs> x-ray machine and escape to the country to peek into your own body. Is it though? Is it though? Are you still with me? Please, come home. Alright, I set up camp. I'll keep you posted on my advances through the radio. I brought a med kit in case some the x-rays show some strange body under my skin. And don't worry, I know my way around the scalpel. <laughs> what? Some of the skeleton's cervical discs have been replaced. Takes me back to the day Johan pushed me through out of window. Whoever built the skeleton did an imperfect job. This brings back vague memories of being buried. Yeah, I couldn't take it anymore. I was trying to escape when he. Oh. These teeth are artificial. I should take a closer look at them. I brought suppliers with me? What? Okay, deep breaths. <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. I should have stolen a bottle of vodka while I was at it. Oh! Now my mouth feels all weird. In addition to not being mine, I guess. Hmm, these teeth are almost look like and feel like the real thing. <laughs> They're not alike at all. These may come from different people. This skull some sort of Frankenstein? Where did the maker of the skeleton get his materials from? What? <laughs> oh. It's a fracture. I can't feel pain, but it looks like it healed badly. Skateboarding accident it makes sense. This arm I was used to protect myself. The fracture presents geo. <laughs> Looks artificial. <laughs> Not exactly an injury. Looks like it was badly generated. The skeleton looks crafted, like it's someone's creation. What the hell? Looks like an electronic device. I don't think it's a good idea keeping that inside of me. Extract microchip. Ow! Oh, microchip, it's blinking. Someone's watching my movements. That's what most people would think, right? This is high military tech. Someone, I can somehow I can tell. Why would any intelligence agency want to keep track of me? I got a bullet. Some round, small. What is it doing inside of me? I better extract it and get a closer look. You're not even gonna... Okay, deep practice. It's... I've never cut so deep into mine with my thigh. Here it goes. Nothing. Ah! What the fuck? 
I knew it! It's a bullet! I had a bullet inside my leg. Now I remember Johan's games with his guns. This is special caliber used by Russian agents. The wound is so old. Was I shot as a kid? Russian agents. The hell do I know that? There's no mistake. Something tickling my brain with that fact. Laney well, here. Strict a bullet out of my thigh. It doesn't fit any of my memories as a schoolgirl to end up with a bullet of a Russian origin inside my thigh. I don't even know how I can tell this bullet part from the other. Yet the knowledge is burnt in the back of my head as clear as I know my own name. Could this skeleton be haunting my mind? Or is it me, the one who is possessing the body? Please come home. I'm sure this answer is beneath my flesh. I found a tracking device. Okay, we may be in serious trouble. I found a tracker device under my skin. It's blinking and looks military. Should I destroy it? What's this doing inside of me? Is my skeleton property of some governmental secret agency? That would explain a lot. Please, come home. Ah, this is getting, getting me paranoid. Or more paranoid, I guess. Found a weird fracture. Found some sort of fracture on my radius and ulna. I don't have any members of breaking my arm, though. Never felt any pain in my bones, either. Judging without out the shape of the hypothetical fracture, my theory is that it uh, has been badly generated. It presents ge geometrical traces in the form of hexagons. What does that imply? Are those bones artificial? That would explain why I don't feel them as my own. Please come home. <laughs> Found some teeth that aren't mine. Pulled some teeth out of my mouth. They're also weird and different. That was all wrong, and I'm sure these came from different people. I knew it. My skull has been crafted. These are not my original bones. Now it makes sense why it feels so gross to chew food. It feels like feeding from other people's mouths. I don't want to eat ever again. Please come home. The day Jonas' screams didn't paralyze me, it was worse. They haunted my legs. My skeleton would start running towards the window, not willing to endure another of John's beatings. In case you don't know, when your skeleton decides to override the instructions from your muscles, you just turn into a puppet. So my bones jumped out the window. I fell on top of a car, but it wasn't then when my spine was damaged. It was the typewriter Jonas threw out the window. It crushed my back. What? That's how I got the cervical disc replacements. Please come home. Silver lining is a skeleton never overtook control again. Gotta keep this dude. What the hell? Oh no. Try making yourself throw up. That tastes awful. What is this doing inside my stomach? Looks like coagulated blood and pus. It smells terrible. I recognize this as plastic explosive. <laughs> I can notice stuff moving inside the mass. Feels otherworldly. Competing this? It's alive in some sort of conscious. I know these aren't the right answers. This is just me dicking around because this is weird. It's alive inside my stomach. I found a disgusting pinkish mass. Upon further examination, you can discern small beings floating inside. Most of them don't move, though it looks like it was rapidly dying after being pushed out of my body. This explains why I've been barely eating in the past few months. This is, this has been growing inside of me and for who knows how long. Although, the sadness that is what what is the sadness that is inflicting my gut now? It probably feels like I've lost something very important to me. Oh no. Gouge out and examine it. No. <laughs> okay, I out. Ah! Let's take a quick look and put it back. I can feel the cold air inside my skull. It's fairly unpleasant. This is the price I paid for my stupidity. There's a code number behind this. The number pattern feels military.
Wow. I'm not reading that. I can't. That's too long. Ode to October Owls. Wow, sorry. Reading this code out loud instinctively brought that line in my mouth. What's this supposed to mean? I can't really remember buying this crystal eye now that I think, that I think about it. Please come home. Ode to October Owls. The line somehow makes me feel like I'm in the right place. Was it planned for me to be here? My feet are sized very differently. They're two, they're like two shoe sizes apart. We learned in class we humans are symmetrical. This is not conclusive. I always hated my feet, especially when I have to buy two pairs of sneakers to get a single pair that fit my feet. My feet are weird. So gross. I was ended up getting hurt because I had to buy a bigger size of a pair of shoes and fill one of them with paper to fit my smaller foot. It's not only that having to buy two pairs is expensive, I look ridiculous. Please come home. These feet, I reject them. They're not mine. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug around inside my body for her life. So far, all I can found points toward a clear conclusion. It took me a while, but I've been activated, sir. Hey, I'm back. Ode to October Owls. Sorry it took me so long. I'm still a bit hazy. I've been successfully activated, but I don't recognize my surroundings. I believe something went amiss. Are you my handler? Can you copy? Shit, I wasn't supposed to, a to activate by myself yet, right? Somehow I probably saw right th through my cover and planted the idea of a foreign skeleton in my mind to take me out of the picture. Huh, okay. Returning home. Over and out. Who is... Please come home. A short weird tale by... A <laughs> yeah, I'll say! That's cool. That's fascinating. Because there's like so many more other different t ways you could take it. I mean, is that... There's no... Huh. Fascinating. That is fascinating. That game is really fascinating. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if I actually included that or not. Um, this isn't going to go up on the Patreon because the nudity part is just her hits with the thing. You know, I can just censor that as I go. So it doesn't really matter. I can just cut that piece out. Except for the parts I find. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't done the editing yet. But that's going to do it for uh, 1145 Vivid Life. That was really cool. Link will be in the description down below if you guys want to go check it out and uh, explore the other branching paths and stuff like that. I totally urge you guys to do so. I'm going to go ahead and move on to another one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And peace. Watch out.